right? Mm-hmm. And also men need different things. So my my husband too, check this out. He didn't know that he wanted a traditional relationship. He wanted some sort of physicist triathlete at, at one point in time. He didn't mm-hmm. realize that he would actually have a lot of life fulfillment from provisioning for me, protecting me. That gives him right. purpose. He enjoys doing it. And women don't even understand that part of men either. They do like to work for things. Just be worth the work. I don't think that's that hard to ask for. Women, if you're watching, just look out there. Look at your average woman. That's your competition. That's it. It's not hard to be above average. If you run 30 minutes three times a week, that's literally making you above average. So I don't think women are willing to do the work. Can, can I go on a little tangent about cooking? Because women go seem ahead. to act like this is, <laughs> oh my God. Here's the thing too. Women think that the world is ending if you cook for your man. They think it's oppressive. They think that they're like some sort of personal chef. We literally have air fryers. We have ovens. We have stoves. It's not that hard. And real talk, if you want to cook for a man, you don't need to have that much skill. So if you want to make him a sandwich, all you need is fresh ingredients. Bread from the bakery. You get that good boar's head. You get it sliced thin. You get his favorite meats. You figure out what kind of spread he wants on it. That is somehow for men, a fabulous sandwich. If you want to put some wings in the air fryer, that's the best wings you could possibly make. They're the crunchiest. Okay, so you put it in there, put a little bit of salt and pepper. It's easy to cook for a man and you're just cooking for him to say thank you or to remind him that he's not forgotten because these male co-workers, they talk, they talk and they will stare at a man's lunch if his wife makes it for him. Now, cooking is just one part of it. But it's one of the things that a woman can easily do for a man that's uh, supportive of him. They seem to receive it well. I don't know why. They just do. Well, dude, I'll tell you why. Because I want to feel fucking loved. I'm 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 like men. We want to feel loved, too. We're not just like fucking robots that are like must fucking make money and hand over to women. None of that shit. Like we are human, too. Why do why would I want to date some cold hard bitch? Like, what, what would I subject myself to? All you're bringing to the table is your pussy. Every girl brings her pussy to the table. That pussy is everywhere. Girls are fucking sluts nowadays. Ali, I have gone on dates with chicks, and I've bought them a fucking $5 Starbucks, and an hour later, I'm having unprotected sex with them. Don't advise my <laughs> reckless behavior. I don't advise it. But when you constantly are going through this and seeing this, that's all you're bringing to the table. Your pussy is not valuable. Like not, you know, not, not you, but I'm saying hey, girls in general yeah, out there just think that like bringing vagina, like the sacred, you know, the sacred fucking vagina is like, no, it, it's, you can get it everywhere. You can literally get it everywhere. Mm-hmm. So what are you going to do to set yourself apart from these chicks? And at the end of the day, guys, when we get in a relationship, we want to feel loved. We want to feel special. We like it when our girl touches our muscles and say, you're so sexy. You're hot. You're smart. You do these things like we're it's normal. We want a fucking woman to tell us nice shit, just like women want to hear nice stuff from us. And everybody needs to get their fucking head out their ass and realize like men and women are better together. And yeah, like I don't want a woman that's going to fucking give me like a bologna and cheese sandwich for lunch. Like I want to fucking eat good food. I want to eat grilled chicken. I want to eat some nice. I want you to make gnocchi for me. You know what I mean? (gasps) And yes. that that's that's the big thing. And that's how women can stand out is by for me, my love language is a woman cooking for me. And then after she's done cooking, she cleans the kitchen. I'm like, oh, thank God. Thank God. Because I'll cook. But I just I despise doing the dishes. I despise I just something about it. I fucking hate it. But and, and, and that goes back to like why I was saying earlier. That's how easy it is to catch a man. It really is. But they have these you know this like this million Mm -hmm. page checklist of what they want from it and what do they bring to the table and again i'm gonna get savage right now what do they bring to the table uh a used up vagina a fucking laundry list of mental diseases a bad attitude and a fat body and a fucking shitty personality shitty personality and Mm -hmm. you want the perfect man and that's what you're bringing to the table you deserve to die alone like at that point, you deserve to die alone. And again, I, I have to get savage because that's the reality. And people need to understand if you want something high quality, like you said, with your friendships, you have to be high quality yourself. Mm-hmm. If you are if you're a woman and you're getting nothing but pumped and dumped and you're getting fucking 
shitty guys, you're you're just shitty guy after shitty guy after shitty guy. You need to look in the mirror and be like, okay, what am I doing wrong? Because this is my fault. Because I am the common equation here. But again, mm-hmm. women are allergic to accountability. Like I said, when I was dating this chick, right? You know, there was a constantly shit she was doing wrong. But her one fucking just like poor friend, misgender studies, was just like always like, no. Like you said, she believed that women have the past to do whatever they fucking want and they should be able to get whatever they want. And it, it like mm-hmm. con- there are consequences for actions, men and women, mm-hmm. but especially with women. And they don't seem to know this. They think that like I, I, I'm trying to figure out where did they get this fucking delusion from? Because it makes no sense at all. Mm-hmm. It's just coming from indoctrination. It's going to come from society. It's going to come from schools. It's going to come from the movies. But mostly it's just coming from your mama. Your mom was the first model you have because it's not just the two-parent household. It's also, was that marriage healthy? So if you just grow up and you see your mom taking your dad for granted, your dad's beta, most of the men in your family are beta, you just think that that's normal. That's what you should pursue. And then you're surprised when you end up on a girl's trip and you end up cheating on him. Here, here's the thing, like hypergamy is sneaky. There are some women, I'm not going to say most of them. There are some women that are absolutely shocked and caught off guard when they do have infidelity. They're like, I, why did I, why did I do that? And sometimes it's from, it's her fault because she ended up betatizing her husband. I do see that happen quite a bit. And I look around at some of these miserable husbands and like their eyes are dead and it's just because of their wives. But at the same time, like, I don't know necessarily that I feel that bad for him because he's letting it happen. He is letting it happen. You can get frame and stay in your frame and have a harmonious relationship. But women also just don't believe that men are that simple. They think that they have to be much more complicated because they're getting all their relationship advice from their other girlfriends. Who are single. So, yes, yes, that are single or just absolutely bananas, like psychologically single, but have a husband or have a boyfriend, the type of woman that won't go out of her way to do anything for her man. Okay, so that's who they're getting relationship advice from. And so they'll look at a text message from a man. So a man will say, I am not interested in going to the movies tonight. I'd rather go to dinner. And she's thinking, what does he really mean? What did I do wrong? Did I do something that made him not want to go to the movies? It's like, no, dude, he literally (laughs) meant what he said. He just would rather get dinner. That's it. But then we'll take that message. We'll send it to our girlfriends. And then it goes through this like crazy psychotic filter. We get the response back and we're like, Oh, okay. Maybe this is because I I was not that pleasant on Tuesday. Maybe maybe that's what it was. And it's not. I'm telling. I try to tell women all the time: take men and what they say at face value. But that also has to be a masculine man, because a feminine man is the kind that would play games with you, play games with your emotions. Because that's girl game. That's girl technique. Why would you do that if you're a confident masculine man? You say what you want. If you don't get it, then you just move on. You either get on the program or you don't. Mm -hmm. But uh, women also haven't realized that they want masculine men and masculine men are also a little bit hard to deal with. I mean, I've talked about that when it comes to my husband, but Donovan talked about it as well, too, that they're just not as affectionate as women wish they could be. But that's part and parcel of the situation, because what made him so attractive and so successful is his masculinity. It is an adjustment, but women just have to believe that they can get what they want through femininity. It's that leap of faith because, okay, you want all this stuff from a man. Seriously, sex, silence, sandwiches. He'll give you the world, but they just don't want to take the chance on it. <laughs> yep. And and again, like I said, it goes back to just like the indoctrination. It's so sad too, because it's fucking everywhere. It's like, it's on TikTok. It's on Instagram. It's in the music. Like like mainstream music tell girls like, be a whore and you don't need to fuck man. Mm-hmm. Cardi B, Nicki Minaj. I mean, all this mainstream shit is just <sighs> like, how is, how is, how does anybody look at cardi b and be like that's a good role model i just i don't get it i i just it, it blows my mind um but you have that you have like you know songs like wet ass pussy and it's just like no decency no crass it's just so crass like it's very simple do you know what the backbone of value is probably not i'm stumped tell me scarcity okay. ah yes right Scarcity is the backbone of value. And if you're a girl and you give yourself to everybody, right? <laughs> then, then what makes you special? Like what is what 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 mm-hmm. what's what what is sacred? Like my ex, right? 
I I dated my ex um, a while ago. We did four years. It was long. It was long. It was a good relationship. But um, I was the third guy she ever slept with, and I was the only non-Japanese guy she'd ever slept with. And so, I knew that like I could go and and she lived on the other side of the country, so I knew I could go anywhere in Tokyo, and like I don't have to like be like oh fuck to this guy, you know, fucking do this guy, fucking bang her. You know, I knew that she was my special treasure, and that's what guys want. That's what we value a girl mm -hmm. who is like not giving herself to the world. And again, again, like when I talk about giving advice to girls, I say it's very simple. Shut your mouth and shut your legs. It's as 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 like as savage as that is, don't eat so much, don't talk so much, and just don't go out and give your body to the fucking world. And mm -hmm. you're literally better than 90% of women out there. It's that simple. Mm -hmm. Well, it goes down to that FOMO. We really think that we're missing something by missing out on hooking up with Chad and getting pumped and dumped. Seriously, we think that we're missing out on a Christmas surprise. The reality of it is not so good, but your girlfriends, they will post on Instagram and make it look glamorous. I cannot tell you how many times I have looked at a woman's Instagram and been like, oh my gosh, she's just living her best life. I wish my life was a little bit like that. Then I go to her apartment She's a single mother. The apartment's dirty and her man out here is smashing the neighborhood. Every time it's too easy to just take the, the lens off of these broads. But uh, I think women are getting a little bit hip to the game because I think we're realizing that feminism, the sexual liberation movement got us a wrong uh, a raw deal. Because if you think about it, people want to dog on shotgun weddings, but they worked. And that's because men were expected to, if they got a woman pregnant, they had to assume the responsibility of a husband and a father. Now we don't have that. Now he can do child support. By the way, women, he doesn't have to pay child support if he works under the table. If you get pregnant by a scumbag, rest assured that it, that may occur. And the there's just so many different perspectives to have on it. I can't even 